So I'm a semi, apparently. Interesting. How are we all doing? Are we enjoying our night so far? Woo! Awesome. Now this is my, uh, my third or fourth batch of giving stand-up a go. Um, usually what I would do is I'd start my set with uh, a contextual joke or something about wherever I'm doing it. Something like, ooh, well, the tower bar. I don't see any towers. <laughs> and that would be it. So I'm not going to do that because that would be crap. So instead, I'm going to start my set off probably by doing some impressions for you. Because uh, I think we all enjoy impressions. I don't know, I don't know why we all enjoy impressions. Because when you think about it, it's really all it is is just seeing someone's voice come out of a different face. And it's like, why is that so funny? Like, <laughs> look, it's Morgan Freeman's voice coming out of a white guy. <laughs> That's funnier than any blonde joke I've ever heard. Which it is. Because blonde jokes are hard. They hurt. Right here. On the left breast. But uh, I'm going to be a little bit different with my impressions. I'm going to be a bit unique, a bit kooky, a bit weird. Uh, I do like being different and unique. It sort of just adds sort of another layer to our otherwise boring lives that we lead. Sort of a bit, a bit of entertainment, you know. So uh, I will warn you now that if you do happen to see me walking down the street with um, some hats on my feet and a shoe on my head, which is me being different, or the alcohol I haven't worn off from the previous night, <laughs> probably both. That was a good night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll say right now it's probably the only time that you'll ever hear someone do an impression of a ping pong table, uh, or at least a ping pong match between two highly skilled, most likely Asian participants. <laughs> uh, so we'll just begin. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what you're thinking, I don't know what you're thinking, well, where's the voices, you know? Can't just be a silent game of table tennis. So, okay, we'll have a, a game of table tennis between two, two Japanese players. Okay, so we'll begin. What's your voice about? What's your voice about? Shiny Japanese schoolgirls cheering them on. <laughs> now, uh, if, you, if you like that, or you know, you think that's mildly chucklesome, um, how about some musical ping pong? Is it anyone's birthday at tonight? No. Okay, well, never mind. We'll pretend it's someone's birthday, uh, and this would be for them. Or even the classic Michael Jackson song. later on, who knows? But I do. Because I wrote the set, but I don't want to ruin the surprise for you, so I'll leave it there for now. Uh, so I was sat at home the other day, um, and I did that thing that I think everyone does, I don't think I'm alone in this, where you, you suddenly remember, or you realise, that you have work later on. And you just kind of, well, some people react in different ways. I tend to react as if I've just stubbed my toe. So I'll just be like, oh! Bloody hell. Oh, thought you stubbed your toe. No. Fucking hell. Some people might tend to react a little bit more sad, as if they've just discovered their ex-alcoholic father lying on the kitchen floor, or drunk after 25 years alcohol-free. Just like, oh no, no, oh dad. What? I've got work later. <sighs> oh, I thought you might have just seen me with some alcohol. <laughs> no. 
But if you're one of the five people on the planet who actually likes their job, um, you might react almost as if you've just won a game of Wii Tennis and Wii Sports. It's kind of like, yes, I won it. Fucking awesome. Love it. And that, is, that got me thinking that in almost every conceivable possible way, it would be really awesome to be a porn star. <laughs> I think you'd, you'd just automatically be smug. You'd just be like, <laughs> got to work later. <laughs> oh, yeah, busy day. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Don't you mean, who do I do? <laughs> well, according to the latest work manifesto, today it's two blonde Scandinavian twins called Sasha and Natasha. I believe uh, the first scene is with Sasha, and then uh, it's uh, sex with Natasha, and then uh, sex with Sasha and Natasha at the same time. And then I think we'll break for lunch, and then after lunch I believe it's uh, sex with Sasha, Natasha, and their mother. So, busy day for me, I best get going. Ta -ta. And whenever I come back from work, as I work at the leisure centre just up the past the cathedral, I'm always really tired, I'm like, oh my legs are killing me, oh my arms have been sweeping, I've been on my feet all day, etc. The porn star will probably just come back and be like, God, my penis hurts. <laughs> but good work, good boy. <laughs> and then just kind of relax. And I'll be like, that'd be amazing. I'd love to be a porn star. I want to be a porn star, so freaking bad. Having sex with people and getting paid for it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you there, but I'll leave you with, with one impression, one more impression. Now, uh, feel free to close your eyes for this, try and picture it in your mind, see, uh, see if you can picture the scene. Um, this, of course, will be a ping pong match between Apu from The Simpsons and Professor Frick from The Simpsons, as umpired by Severus Snake. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to table tennis match number 394. <laughs> Are the participants ready? Oh yes sir, I absolutely am ready. I've been ready ever since the first day my hand touched a table tennis bat. You are going down, Professor Brick. Oh, oh, with the banging and the booming and the click clack on the ping pong balls of Hyman! <laughs> okay, just some ground rules before we begin. There will be no foolish bat waving or silly shenanigans in this match. It will be a clean match. Begin. <laughs> Come on, you stupid ping pong ball! This is mine! Yes! <laughs> One, no, two, a two. I can die! I can die! Yes! the match. Round of applause for Apu, please. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is the best day of my life. I've been waiting for this day ever since I've been born. Ever since the first day. My hand touched a table to this match. Thank you, thank you. You are so going down, Professor Brink. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> and I'll leave you there, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Merry Christmas. <laughs>